guys can we all agree that switching phones is not for the weak especially if you're like me someone who has very important whatsapp messages business chats receipts and also my beloved sticker collection you see those chats the media and most of all those stickers they are all memories reaction and personality traits so when i switched phones recently I needed a way to move everything neatly without losing a single thing. And that's how I ended up testing Mobile Trans. And by the way, they were kind enough to send me a license key, which gave me full access to try everything out properly. Now, this app can copy data from one phone to another and also move over 10 types of WhatsApp data between smartphones, photos, chats, voice notes, documents, and stickers without wiping or losing anything. It did sound a bit too good to be true. So I tried it out and today I'm going to explain how I was able to do this and how it works. So here's the deal. This works on Android and iOS and vice versa. This is what happened. I had WhatsApp on my iPhone, so I needed to move everything here, which includes my media, documents, messages, plus those from WhatsApp business as well. Obviously, this wasn't going to be easy because first of all, it's a new device, which also happens to be an Android device. My chat history is also massive because I've had this device for quite some time. My photo folder is a mess as well and weirdly enough, I didn't really want to lose my really interesting sticker collection. But before someone says, buddy, why didn't you just use the regular backup and restore method? My reason is pretty simple. If you've tried that, you already know it is painfully slow, it doesn't always bring everything back and some things get overwritten and sometimes switching from iPhone to Android is like asking your devices to speak different languages. So I thought, what if I just try mobile trans and see whether it actually works like they say it does. Now keep in mind, with mobile trans, you get to transfer over 10 kinds of WhatsApp data like I mentioned earlier and even other chat apps like Line or Viber. On top of that, this happens to be faster than the official method when you're doing WhatsApp transfer and other third party tools as well. Also, with mobile trans, you can restore Google Drive backups to iOS. If you ask me, that is pretty impressive. So let's get straight to how this works and how I was able to set it up. First thing I did was install mobile trans on my Mac. Side note, this also works on Windows, so it's not restricted to just one operating system. Next thing I did is connect both smartphones via USB. Keep in mind, you need really good cables for this, else it probably wouldn't connect. So I'll need a moment to connect this. And then I'll just plug in both smartphones. Once connected, it detects both smartphones. In this case, I connected both the iPhone and the Android, but like I said, you can do it either ways, Android to iOS as well. As expected on the Android, I have to enable USB debugging. Now, what I do is select the brand of my Android device and it shows you how to enable USB debugging through settings. If you can't find your smartphone brand, just click on more and it's pretty much the same thing. The most important thing in this step is turning on USB debugging. Now, after that, it brings me to this step which shows both devices. Now, my iPhone is the source of where I'm sending the data from and the destination is where it's going, which is my Android device. This is very important to confirm before starting. If it's reversed, all you have to do is click on this small arrow icon and it lets you switch it like so. Now you see, the iPhone becomes the source. For this video, I am more interested in transferring my WhatsApp data. So what I do here is click the app transfer section and select WhatsApp transfer. At this point, you see all the files I am sending are already checked. Messages, videos, documents, stickers, and some other stuff. All I have to do is click on start and give it a few seconds to verify. At this point, I am required to enter my iPhone's password, which I did on the laptop. Now, after this, I followed all the instructions, went to settings and iCloud to make sure auto sync is turned on for WhatsApp. Then in WhatsApp, I also made sure end-to-end -end encryption is turned off as well. Just follow the steps on the screen. It is pretty easy and straightforward. 
This overall process should take at least 30 to 50 minutes. I mean, it depends on how much stuff you have. I do have a lot of stuff, so mine took around 70 minutes. Now, after a while, this should prompt you to enter your WhatsApp number on the Mobile Trans app. At this point, you should already have WhatsApp installed on the new smartphone. If you don't, this is the time to head over to your phone store and do that. If you already did, next thing I'm going to do is click on installed on the mobile trans app and it should bring me back here. Now, what I have to do is just give it a few minutes to do its thing. The nice thing about this whole process is the UI is clean, the instructions are very easy to follow and they guide you through everything. You don't even need to be a third guru to be able to pull this off. At this point, my backup is complete and it is time to restore it on the new phone. So what I did is open WhatsApp on the new smartphone, enter my phone number and on the screen, I have these different instructions with pictures putting me through. So I just select the option that applies to my device. As long as you follow these instructions to a T, there should be no problems, which is exactly what I did. And in no time, everything down to the last message I sent before I started the transfer. Not a single thing was lost. So here is what I noticed during this whole transfer process. First of all, it did not take forever like you saw, compared to some other times where restoring backups feels like you're waiting for a full movie to download. The mobile trans app is noticeably snappier. All my chats came through neatly, even the long group messages, voice notes, audio clips, photos and videos as well. Something else you need to check out for is the transfer and merge feature on this app. I actually tested it and honestly, it's impressive. Let's say you already set up WhatsApp on your new smartphone and you have a bit of chat history there. Normally, most tools would overwrite that, but with mobile trans, it doesn't do that. What it does is it takes the existing chats on the new device and merges them seamlessly with the old ones with no duplicates, no missing messages and no data loss, which I think is brilliant. Something else I didn't expect to appreciate this much is the backup section in mobile trans. Now, look at this section. This is my actual WhatsApp backup sitting here on my laptop. Now, here's why it all makes sense. The file popped up in the restore list with everything, my device name, um, the exact time I backed it up, the iOS version I am on, and even the file size. But here's the part that I really found interesting. I'm in control of everything here. If I ever want to restore this data again, all I have to do is click on this restore button and set it up on any phone, which means I don't have to go through the whole process of backing it up again. And I can also delete it if I want. So I'm not scared of someone getting a hold of my WhatsApp backup. It's one of those features you don't realize is a lifesaver until something goes wrong. Side note, I think if you work in phone repairs, phone retails, or you handle device switching of phone for customers. This tool is like a cheat code. Instead of doing all those long complicated transfers or risking data loss, you can back up a client's phone in minutes and restore it just as easily. It makes you look professional, it saves you time, and honestly, it is one of those tools that pays for itself after a few uses. Now, after concluding my backup, here are some of the things I can confirm and things that also stood out to me. It is fast, like I mentioned, it moves everything, it merges data, and lastly, it restores across platforms. But of course, it is not perfect because you need a computer for this. You can't just open the app on your smartphone and do everything there, which is basically the only downside this has. As someone who documents a lot on WhatsApp, concludes a lot of deals there as well, losing data is not an option. Seeing my full history on the new phone made me realize this is a tool I can actually trust. So is mobile trans worth it? For me, the answer is definitely yes. If you're switching phones and you care about preserving your entire data, this is one of the smartest tools I've used and it delivers exactly what it promises. Anyways, that's my take, but honestly, if you're planning to switch phones soon, give mobile trans a shot and I'm pretty sure you'll thank me later. I'll attach a download link to it in the description box below and that is it from me. If I just showed you one of the best ways to back up your data, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys on my next one.